What's up guys? So today's the day. We have the axles. They're here. They're ready to be built. We're putting them in the XJ. Today is day one. We're starting it. I'm in isolation. I'm out of work, like a lot of you, and this is going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Let's take a look at these axles. I'm going to show you the breakdown, what I paid for them, what I've got, all the good stuff. And then I'm going to tell you the future of the plans as far as the build and how long it's going to take. It's going to be exciting stuff. Stay tuned. Let's check these axles out. <clears throat> all right, so here they are in all their glory. I have a set of JK Rubicon axles that I just purchased this Sunday. Pretty basic axles. I don't know a whole lot about them other than just the obvious. The guy who had them before me or who I bought them from, he didn't know anything about them. He bought the Jeep and they came with the Jeep. The guy was going to put them in him or in his Jeep. He never did. He had no use for them, so that's why he sold them. So I bought them, kind of not knowing a whole lot. As far as what I do know, I do know they're not bent. I do know they have gussets. I do know they have a big brake kit. Uh, these are 13 inch, so I think that's an inch over standard size brakes. Has an H or heavy duty TerraFlex diff cover, heavy duty track bar bracket. So definitely some work put into them. I don't know what gearing's in there. I don't know if anything for sure works. The guy says they do. Everything looks correct. We'll see. <clears throat> That's going to be what we're going to be going over. So this is all exciting stuff. So all right, all right. So all right. So now that we're focused, yeah. Let's go over what we did. So I bought these axles from a guy for fifteen hundred bucks. That's definitely a really good price. If you know anything about JK Rubicon axles, they typically sell for about $3,000 to $4,000, depending on what you're looking at. So I got a great deal on those. <clears throat> I bought them kind of in the dark, but it was such a good deal. I was like, you know what? If there's any issues with them, like with the lockers and stuff, I'm still coming out pretty positive. So I was like, it's definitely a risk willing to take. And plus, they already have upgrades. So I'm assuming because of the upgrades that the person's done to them, I'm assuming that they put some money into gears. I don't know for sure. The guy didn't know either. But if he was going to put a big brake kit, gussets, heavy-duty brackets for the track bar, and a heavy-duty diff cover, I'm, I would like to think that he put gears in. Next video, I'm going to tear these down and start showing you the inside of the gear or the, the bells and the housings um, and just seeing what the gearing is and seeing what exactly we're getting into. And then we may start cutting brackets off as well. So there's really no info on swapping axles into a Cherokee as far as JK Rubicon axles go, Dana 44s. Um, really, the, there's really not any detailed videos at all of axle swapping into a Cherokee. So I'm going to be the first, hopefully, that I know of, to make content on how to swap axles into a Jeep Cherokee XJ. So if anyone's interested, if anyone wants to see, definitely subscribe. This is going to be a, a whole series on how to put them into the ax or into the Cherokee. I'm going to go over what it costs. I'm going to go over. It's going to, I'm going to do a full breakdown of everything. This is going to be a full build of everything that you need to do to build um, axles to go underneath a Cherokee. Not necessarily 44s. You could probably use a lot of the information that I'm posting to do other axles as well. Um, it's a pretty you know, swapping axles from a different vehicle completely takes a lot of stuff regardless to change, and it's going to be very similar in general as far as swapping axles. So definitely stay tuned. I mean, it's going to be a longer process. I'm going to try and get this done as quick as I can. I'm out of work for at least two weeks to two months. I, I don't know for sure. They don't know. No one knows. So right now we're working on the Jeep. So stay tuned. I've got lots of cool stuff coming. I've got the axles here. We're gonna start breaking them down, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Right now I'm gonna work on posting two videos a week. That's my goal. If I can do that, that's gonna maybe get me motivated to get these babies rocking and rolling. And if I can get a lot of growth out of my channel, that's gonna be dependent on you know how quick we can really spend money on getting this stuff done. So I'm really confident that it's gonna be done as quick as possible, depending on obviously the economy. It's kinda of scary, but you know what, we're strong, we're gonna get through this, it's gonna be great. Um, I figured right now, if I'm out of work, I, all I'm doing is sitting out home watching YouTube videos of people jeeping, building jeeps, and I'm just like, you know what, I, 
I need to make content. People are wanting to watch content right now. So that's what I'm doing. So, you know, if it's not great, exciting stuff, I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can. But other than that, the support that I've gotten already has been amazing. So I'm going to wrap this up. I didn't want to make a super long video. I just wanted to update you guys of what I bought, what I'm doing, the time frame, what we're going to do every week. This is going to be fun. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. This is going to be a fun build. This is the start of it. Just wanted to do an overview, a quick update, what's going on. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you all. Peace.